1940s, Revere, Massachusetts, up in the woods, this path led to where John B. Jones settled, made a home up in the woods to begin his family. They were the first African-American family in the city of Revere. He couldn't afford much, but he hustled, he welded, made some deals, and uh, was able to put up this small foundation out here in the middle of nothing. But he built a home, and he began his family. He had a along with my grandmother, eight kids. Three girls first and then five boys. I don't know how they did it in this place. But let's check it out. So I'm not sure exactly what these would be, if those are doors or what, but let's go inside. See over here, it's made of uh, field stone. So probably knocked off these mountains and these rocks behind us, carried over, and then put together and then covered with uh, some type of cement. I'm guessing these are windows. And my thought is that a little stairwell. Right here, where the front door might have been. Step down inside. So that's about it. It's just so cool to actually be here and uh, walk around the spot that my dad was born. He was born here in. Uh, January 26th of 1943, and there's a massive blizzard, and uh, my great-grandmother lived across the highway, and uh, technically it's Malden, but uh, it's up where Lowe's and the palace used to be, and um, she trudged through the snow all the way through the woods, down this path, and over to here to help my grandmother give birth to uh, her first son. I think I figured out the layout of this place. So this is the front door, all right? And so where we were just in, I wanna say is the, uh, the basement sub-level. If you look over there, you see a little notch in the, uh, in the bricks. There's a matching one on the other side. And my guess is that would be uh, where the support beam went to help hold the, uh, the floor in place. So, maybe some of the old boards and timbers. So, that's about it. Pretty cool stuff. All right.